This is our curly kale. You hear that crunch? That's really unheard of with kale. So not only are our customers excited with the fact they can eat kale raw, you don't have to wash this produce. We've got everything here, pretty much everything that uh, belongs on a, on a dinner plate. More and more Singaporeans are very health conscious and there's a bigger demand for healthy food. There are definitely products out there that are on trend. The trend is actually mostly organic products and of course uh, natural products. Singapore, very similar to Hong Kong, um, there's not much land. When we start to think about how do we address land scarcity, not just for Singapore, but the fact that by 2050, we're gonna need farming land the size of Brazil to feed the growing communities. It's a lot of deforestation. How do we reduce that down? I saw this as an opportunity for me to go in and to make a change. Here I see sustainability physically happening by the choices that our founders make, by the choices that people make every day in the farm. The idea of Sustainer first came to me in 2012. I was uh, reading an article on Facebook and our journey basically started in a basement. I learned that not only can we grow impossible products in impossible places, but we can also manipulate the products Traditional farming, you're constrained by the land space that you're growing on, just one level. Indoor farming, which is what we do, that can be done both linear and vertical. This form of farming is required to bring good quality produce to the community here. From the first deployment of our farm here, we've gone through about three different iterations of improvements, all supported by the government, which is fantastic. We actually grow these products using absolutely no soil. It's completely soilless. This is the germination room. After we introduce the seed into the foam cube, depending on the products, it can take anywhere between two to five days for the plant to actually germinate. See here, there's nothing really happening here, uh, but in a couple of days, they will actually look like this. We've now entered into the nursery section. This is where the magic all happens. Our head of nursery is doing plant inspection. Um, this has just come from the completion of the germination phase. We take them out, we allow them in ambient light for about half a day, just so they don't get a shock factor when we move them into nursery phase two, because the light under there is quite intense. We've now entered into the main grow area. We control everything in this room from the air temperature and humidity all the way down to the carbon dioxide PPM in the room. We've even gone so far as to creating our own lights, which we've named Helios, which is actually the sun god. The system that we're using here is called nutrient film technique. We actually dissolve uh, the macro micronutrients into the water. It makes the plants not have to fight not have to grow these great big root systems to find nutrition. So instead of growing downwards, they spend all their time growing upwards. That's how we're able to reduce down growth cycles as much as 50%. We're growing Tuscan kale in a completely clean environment. So clean, in fact, that this natural protection on the leaf, so it's free of heavy metals, free of smog, free of pesticides. You don't have to wash this produce. Kale has three times the nutrition from lettuce. We want to grow a superfood so we can really educate our consumers on the value of quality over quantity.
hear that crunch. That's really unheard of with kale. So unlike a lot of the produce that you get from Australia and the States here in Singapore, that have these great big stalks you can't use, it actually equates about 40% of the products. We give whole leaf and completely edible stalks that are very soft. By changing the characteristics of the plants, we can actually make products more palatable for our demographic. We've now entered into the strawberry room. We tried introducing bees into the space and it wasn't so successful on the first try. Right now, all of our pollination is actually done by hand. Every day we learn, every day we improve. What we also have here are our cherry tomato mother plants. We used to have a whole room full of this, but uh, because our kale's in such high demand, we had to actually close down growing the cherry tomatoes and convert the room into kale. Uh, but what that does is actually shows how agile we can be to our consumer demands. Doing all this to cater to the products we're growing within each one of the rooms. Our kale, it takes about five to six weeks to get it from seed into its first harvest. Uh, from harvest, it goes into the packaging immediately and then it's on the table for our customers the very same afternoon. What makes Sustainier stand out is that when you actually walk inside the grocery store and you pick up a pack of Sustainier produce, you are empowered to make good choices. We harvest every day fresh and then we deliver it uh, about 30 minutes to the grocery stores daily. So when it's locally farmed, that means your produce stays fresh for longer. We want to change food for good and we also want to make sustainability convenient to everyone. So we're about building a community of people who are taking a step closer together to a better world. I believe that all farmers have to adapt. We have to become more efficient in the way that we're doing farming outdoors because it's quite frankly killing the planet. Uh, all the deforestation, all the pesticide runoff into the water, it's, it's really hurting the planet. So we need to make a change. I think it's by leading by example, we will create the technology to help them and it is going to add value to not just their livelihoods, but also their bottom line as well. If we can make them more efficient, why wouldn't they change?